All right, this is Beneteau's new Swift Trawler 48 here at the Miami Boat Show. And we are gonna go ahead and check it on out. And we're gonna step onto the rear here. And we are immediately greeted by this very spacious swim platform for us. So uh, if you wanted to you put a tender, there's room for that going on here. So just a really versatile boat. Um, it's kind of the Swift trawler branding, if you will, is just how versatile these are. And that definitely encompasses that. Um, so from the swim platform into the rear cockpit is all the same level. You don't have to step up or anything. And uh, there's tons of space here in the rear cockpit area. Uh, those two hatches there and there, those are down into for like the generator and all that stuff down there. And hiding back there is actually engine access and we'll uh, check that out here shortly. Uh, you can see this opens up extremely wide here. Pretty much the whole width of the boat almost on the rear is just wide and open and it really connects the space in between from the uh, rear cockpit to the uh, main, uh, well, I guess it would be the galley into the saloon area. Um, while we're out here, a couple things I'd like to point out. Um, the stairs there, those you can see, there's actually a little release down there and the track allows those to slide and get out of the way and really open up the space on the back of the boat. Uh, a couple other things, uh, this it will look very, if you've seen this, the Grand Trawler 62, this is somewhat reminiscent of it with the windbreak here on the side and then the design going on there. This does have the wider uh, deck along this side because this is gonna be your primarily your working side of the boat. So that is the uh, explanation for that. Uh, one cool thing that they did do on this, looking up here is um, these tracks for your uh, enclosure. And if you'll notice, there's a bunch of space that I can stick my hand up in there. The canvas actually rolls up into there and stows away rather than taking up space somewhere else on the boat. Um, we are gonna head on forward now real quick just because there's some folks in the galley area. Huge windows that we're walking past here. Um, there is access to the helm through this door there, which we will check out shortly. But we're gonna take a couple steps up here onto the bow and a couple steps up and it's just a large flat deck space and a nice large sun pad. It does flip up. Um, you can see the frame on the 41 there. That's basically what this one does and it allows you to prop up the back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, just a large working space up here at the front uh, around your windlass and your winch. And then if we look down in here, that is just our chain for the road and all that good stuff hides out down in there. Uh, just taking a quick look back down the boat here. Remote spotlight, of course. And right now they are actually operating the uh, electric sunshade up there on the hard top. So it's actually cool to get to see what that is doing. and. Uh, it yeah, allows you to open it up and really uh, take advantage of the sun if that's what you want to do, or you can bring it back, close it up, and stay out of the sun. So we're going to walk around this way, and you can see that this side deck is raised up and skinnier than the other one. So that is just uh, part of the asymmetric design they have going on on these Swift trawlers. But I will uh, we'll step down here now and. Go ahead on into the cockpit. So like I said, this is a galley aft layout. Um, immediately greeted by rather spacious kitchen. Uh, just really about versatility on the Swift trawlers and they really did a good job there with that. Um, that has the electric uh, stove top there. Gas is an option, I believe. Um, this is a very large refrigerator for this size of boat and then the freezer is going to be down here below it. And you do have a Miele oven hanging out there. This, this is cool. Magic corner. These things are awesome. They just really maximize the space of the corner by doing that. And then you have your drawer that slides out there. You put it back. You just push this and in it goes. Way better than a Lazy Susan. So it's uh, great to see that. And then above there, just some more storage. We flip around to this side. And I really like the uh, classy look they've got going on with this uh, 
built-in entertainment center. They've got a, a cupware set there. And then down in here is going to be plateware and everything. And you do have a, a wine bottle rack on that side for your wine. And then if we look over here, hiding behind this one, that is just going to be me struggling to open the ice make maker, but it's cool that they have the ice maker hiding there separately. And I'm curious, that is just some general storage in that compartment. And then uh, we'll flip around here just to take a look at the kitchen and then out the back. Like I said, it's just wide open, very well connected. I think they did an awesome job. And then uh, one note, the woodwork in here is this light oak finish. You can get it in a more uh, medium brown teak finish if you choose to do so. But this owner has elected to go with this color choice and I think it looks great. So this is a huge, huge area for the dining and lounge area. And that table does flip over and it's uh, on the electric motors. We'll uh, lower it down and there's filler cushions to turn that into a very large uh, twin berth up here in the main level. And there is, you can see there and you can see the track that uh, privacy curtain will wrap all the way around there and uh, allow the allow the occupants of that berth to have their privacy. Um, hanging out there is their Fusion Audio head unit, the main one there. And then on this side is gonna be our home. We'll look at that in just a moment. Uh, I do wanna point out this space. That, that guy opens up on some gas struts and that is where you can mount a 43 inch television there. Um, I like the manual lift and close. There's no fancy, fancy James Bond electronic stuff that lets your TV come out from a hidden compartment in the ceiling or anything like that. So there's nothing to break. You just open it up and your TV's there. So that's really cool. But uh, we will flip over here to the helm. Uh, this boat does take some, uh, some notes from the Grand Trawler 42, like I mentioned, out on the uh, side deck. And this, uh, the helm seat is actually the same one out of the Grand Trawler 62. So plenty of room up here, real proper helm area. And then as I mentioned, there's that a uh, sliding side door. It has intermediate positions where it can stop along the side there. But uh, it has dual Raymarine glass displays. We're just looking at some boat system stuff there. And on that side is gonna be like uh, our chart plotter. So there we are hanging out on the map there. Um, but I'm here at the bolster level on the helm seat and it is just great visibility out over the bow standing here like you can see clear over the whole front so that's awesome uh, these boats just really utilitarian practical and that is uh, definitely embodied by our uh, action here at the helm so we're gonna head on down into the cabin area and then I guess after that we'll check out the engines on our way up to the flybridge where we'll finish this off it's so coming down here the uh, master, uh, master cabin is forward in the bow area, so we will walk on in there. And uh, whew, there is storage everywhere in this cabin. Uh, on this side is going to be a hanging locker that greets us. It has those cool LED accents that act as functional lighting as well, so that's cool to see. Close that guy back up. Overhead cabinets all around there. And then just more storage on that side, of course. But wait, there's more. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. That's how easy it is to access the storage underneath uh, half of the forward berth. So that's really cool. Um, we will flip around this way real quick. Oh, no we won't. Now we will. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is the master head on that side. Um, walking in there, it is a separate wet shower dry toilet and sink compartment so that's a that's definitely a bonus and something that uh people find a lot of value in and of course just more random little storage like beneteau does such a good job just uh using every nook and cranny of their boats and then i'm gonna imagine somewhere here oh, I just, oh that was so cool how it pivoted very cool very cool. I'm easily amused by things like that. But yeah, their shower is there all on its own. And um, I'm going to step in here. I don't have a mirror to show. So we will 
flip this around and show I am six foot one and I've got like three, four inches above my head. So absolutely spacious shower compartment. Um, pretty much what you would expect on a boat this size. So we're going to get flipped back around here, come on out and open this door up on our right here is going to be access to the day head, which also has ensuite access from this cabin back there. So we will flip around here and you also get a separate wet shower, dry toilet compartment going on here in the guest bathroom slash day head. Also quite a tall shower. Um, plenty of room, just like the other one for someone at my height of six foot one to fit in there with absolutely no problems. So we'll close this door up and then we're going to step back into this, this cabin to reveal. We're not going to reveal it. That door is locked, but that, that is the, uh, the third cabin. Um, it just, just a little, it's a queen size berth in there. Um, being used as storage, I believe, by this owner. And on this side, there is, it looks like a king size twin berth in this cabin. And then in here is a, another hanging locker with the uh, lovely lighting going on in there. And then we're gonna walk on up here, make a quick stop at the engine compartment, and then we will head up on the flybridge to finish things up so that would be one of those numbers and that guy opens up on gas struts not going to go down in there but it is powered by a pair of twin cummins 425 engines um pretty cool pretty cool stuff they are they're economical but they also help the boat move you can see the large fuel tanks forward there of the engines and uh this boat and uh, most economical cruising speed of nine knots is good for about 600 nautical miles. And it can still go well into the 200 mile range when it is uh, going flat out around 18 knots. So they're, they're known for their, uh, obviously known for their economical cruising, but if you wanna get some speed going, they can make that happen. So we're gonna climb up onto the flybridge, finish this off up here. We are greeted immediately by this uh, forward seating area there. We'll look at that momentarily. I'm gonna step around here and just show off this very large, spacious uh, deck area. You can do whatever you want with it. So that's awesome that they got that going on there. Uh, a lot of owners like to do a lot of different things and that allows for that in that area. So now we're gonna step back around here. This is our, uh, our little galley area up here, wet bar. Uh, so it's a Kenyan grill, we've got our refrigerator, and then hiding on that side is going to be the wastebasket. And then uh, as we earlier, we saw them operating the uh, sunshade up here on this hard top. And I believe you can get it with a uh, Bimini, like the 41 next to us has the Bimini, but I think said the overwhelming majority have opted for the uh, T-top on this one. And a very large cockpit space up here, uh, the teak table, teak flooring, that can fold out, give you more space there. Uh, of course, storage around in your seating and stepping up to the helm, almost identical layout as far as the uh, equipment on this one. Also has the dual Raymarine glass displays. You got your same throttles and joysticks and bow thrusters and all that jazz going on there. So standard fare compared to the uh, main helm. And we'll just uh, step up in here. And that is that is looking out from sitting on the uh, bolster there and absolutely excellent visibility i'm um, flipping back around here we're gonna go take a seat we'll take a seat right here because uh it is starting to rain and I'm gonna stay under the cover of the the roof that's what it's called so that was beneteau's new swift trawler 48 here at the miami boat show awesome boat all around uh so versatile uh really maximizes the space has uh, the uh, economical factor with cruising, being a trawler. So just a really great all around boat. Uh, if you're looking for something in this uh, category, 
please do not hesitate to check out this new Swift Trawler 48. I have the information for uh, more about this boat and who you can reach out to down in the description below. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching.